Felix Fox was funny. Instead of going straight home, he would go around four trees, across a flowing stream, and up a hill. And when he went to the lake to go fishing, he took a roundabout way. He went to the big rock, down the hill, under the fir tree, before he went to the lake. Felix Fox had a good friend, Flip. And Flip said, Felix Fox, let's go fishing. Well, fine with me. When do you want to go? As soon as you can, answered Flip Fox. Felix said, Flip, I have a fancy fishing pole I want to use. I'm going to go get it. Okay, but let's hurry. I'll hurry, Felix Fox said. Well, don't go the long way around. Come right back. Oh, I will, Felix Fox said. And Flip said, I hope so. You always go in a roundabout way. Try to come straight back, will you? Sure, said Felix Fox. And he started off with a whistle and a flippity-floppity hop. Felix Fox almost went straight home. He only went under a tall pine tree to chin himself and stopped near another tree to see a bird nest and skipped 14 stones across the brook. He got his fancy fishing pole and he started back just like he promised, but then he saw a curious purple-spotted toad. He followed the toad until it disappeared into a small cave. I never saw that cave before, Felix Fox said to himself, and he thought for a minute about Flip, who was waiting for him to go fishing. Hmm, I'll just take a minute to explore this cave. It won't take long, but there is nothing to see in the cave. Felix Fox came out and jumped over the creek. Near the bank of the creek, he spied a blackberry bush. I wonder if any blackberries are ripe. Ooh, there's a nice ripe one. And he popped it into his mouth. Oh, there's another, and there's another. Felix Fox loved blackberries. Before he knew it, he had gone far, 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 far out of his way. Not only was he late, but he was a mess. Blackberry juice all over his face, tail full of cockleburrs, and one glance showed that he had not hurried home to get his fancy fishing pole, and he had not come straight back. Felix Fox began combing out his tail to get rid of the burrs. I am ashamed to let Flip know what I did. I promised I'd come right back. He combed and he combed. Ouch! he said as a burr pulled his fur. Oh dear, why didn't I do what I said I would? What will I tell Flip? And from nearby, Black Crow said, Tell the truth! Tell the truth! I'm ashamed, because I don't want Flip to know what I did. And the black crow stared at Felix with a beady black eye. What did you do? Felix Fox twitched his tail and he squirmed. I, um, I didn't do what I said I would do. And the crow still stared. Was that right? Well, no, it wasn't. And he was trying hard to get out another burr. Would it be right to lie about it? Felix Fox was embarrassed. Well, no, of course not, but I didn't mean to... Well, the blackberries were... And the fox's eyes seemed... The crow's eyes seemed bigger and brighter as he stared at Felix. You are wrong not to do what you promised. Telling a lie doesn't help. Oh, I didn't want to lie. I just didn't want to exactly tell the truth. Well, that's what lying is, not telling the truth. When we pretend to tell the truth, that's lying. You know that. Yes, I do, said Felix Fox, and he was ashamed of himself. I'm not going to lie. Tell him the truth is right. I will hurry back and tell Flip what happened. We'll still have time to fish. And though Felix still had burrs in his tail, he felt better. Tell him the truth is always right, he said to the crow. And maybe that black crow didn't smile, but his eyes didn't look so scary now. And Felix thought they even looked just a little bit friendly. And he did feel better about telling the truth. Mm -hmm.